Hey everybody, Keith K here, and we are back in the green hell of the Amazon forest with the last of our clean water uh, crafting tutorials. Today, we're gonna take a look at the uh, mud water filter. This is um, the most uh, resource intensive, uh, but it's also the most uh, reliable supply of water uh, and produces quite a bit of it. So it's a really useful um, thing to craft. Uh, there are you know, a number of items here that depend on other uh, crafting other items ahead of time. Uh, mud brick will require, if you go up to the mud menu here, will require your mud mixer. Um, and I have uh, done a tutorial on that before, so I'll link to that here. Uh, both the mud mixer and the mud water uh, filter are unlocked when you discover mud. So you don't have to get to one of the locations like the smuggler's camp or the fishing pier. Uh, which is where you unlock some of these other items here, the bamboo water collector, the water filter, both both the water collector types and the water filter types. So, so that's good. The other thing you need a lot of um, is charcoal, um, and that is probably best uh, created in your mud charcoal furnace. I believe this will create about 15 in one pop, and I've done another tutorial on that. Uh, which I'll link to here and this is also unlocked just by discovering mud and if you're not sure how to discover mud if you haven't gotten that far yet um, you simply approach any stream uh, right click and choose the expand menu and uh, then take mud and you'll unlock um, all of these so um, and then the last thing is the bamboo stick which you will need to explore and find um, some bamboo um, and hold on to a bamboo stick I did cover uh, that in another video um, where that required a bamboo stick also and that was um, uh, sorry it was a bamboo log that I needed it was the water filter so you can check that out if you want to um, you know see what the bamboo looks like if you haven't discovered it um, it looks like bamboo so it's not really that difficult uh, we've got our bamboo sticks here so we're ready to rock and roll there um, and I've prepped all the materials so you know, you will, you will need to spend some time scavenging, but most of this stuff, other than the bamboo stick, um, the mud mix, the mud and the charcoal are, just, are found pretty plentiful around. Um, so let's get back to it. So we'll pick our schematic here. And I think, let's see, maybe we'll just put it right here if it'll let me. Yeah, it's getting a little crowded, but this is our kind of demo space. All right, so we place our schematic on the ground. Now we need eight long sticks, and these can take a little while to acquire, but I've uh, just chopped down you know, this, the thinner trees, the younger trees, and you'll, we'll, you will get plenty of these. Um, we can only, I believe, take three of these at a time. So we'll just, let's see if it'll let me take more. Yeah, it did. All right, so we've got all those. What are we waiting for? There, there's our eighth one. Now we need, uh, looks like two mud bricks. And I believe you need five mud bricks all together, but it does it uh, kind of in stages. So I've got some mud bricks ready to go here, and we may need to make some more when we run out. Unfortunately, you can only grab one mud brick at a time. I'll get these two in place and then we will come back. Okay, so now that we've placed that level, it's going to ask us for two more and then one for the top. Uh, now I remember how this goes. And you'll see the mud looks wet. Once you place the last piece of this build in, um, they actually convert to dry. Um, so again, I'll have to make some more mud. I'll break away uh, and get that done, and we'll be right back. All right, and here we are with our last mud brick. So we'll place that. Now we need some more. Uh, now we need our bamboo stick. Um, so you can see we need zero of one, and I've got two, as I showed you earlier, right here. Um, so we'll just go ahead and place that, and that's what's going to actually trickled the clean water in um, from the side where all the dirty water is. So now uh, we need our charcoal. Uh, we need six here and I've got plenty um, from that mud 
that charcoal furnace that we um, we looked at earlier. So I brought all those along. Oh, it's going to start to rain, so that actually might be cool because it, you'll get to see this fill up on its own. So that gave me 10 stone, which is more than I need. But first, we're going to place in all the little stones, and then we need three big ones. Uh, the big stones, which you've probably seen before. Uh, you can only take one of those at a time, right? So, um, but that's why I've staged them nice and close in my camp. And that, I, I presume that those, you know, sort of hold everything down. There. Now, uh, we instantly got some clean water, which is kind of cool. Um, you can see that this uh, has a chamber where all of the um, unclean, unfiltered water can go and that it will slowly fill up with rain, uh, which is cool. If you're, you know, running around doing other things, you will, you know, kind of get this filled up for you. Um, but you can also use your, uh, either your coconut biton or your, um, the, the metal biton if you find one um, in one of the uh, locations. You can see I've got 50 of 100 in here, but this is river water. That's why it says dirty, and that's filtered water where it says clean. So this we can just drop right in here. And you can see it only brought it up a tiny bit. So um, this is a good reason to make your camp near a river. Uh, if you're going to use the mud water filter, you're, um, you're going to eventually be running down to the river a few times. Um, or you could just let it sit here and let the rain fill it up. So I'll get this filled up, and then uh, we'll come back and take a look at uh, you know, kind of what it looks like completely full. You can see the water starting to fill in. It's kind of got that nice brown river water color. Um, if we leave it, it will fill up from the rain, but uh, we'll be right back once we have this full. All right, and there you have it. Um, we've got a full chamber of dirty water, and we're getting close to a quarter of clean water. So this will drain into here, and uh, you'll have some left until you start to empty this out. And then you can certainly drink right from here. You can also fill your bite on up. Now you'll see I've got, uh, well, it wasn't quite full, so I only got 76 out of 100. <clears throat> but on a full chamber, you'll have some left over. So again, if you've got plants that you're growing, you need to water, um, uh, or just keeping a steady source of water for yourself, uh, this is uh, a great, um, thing to craft and, and you don't need to have discovered one of the locations like the smugglers camp where you, where you do with these other two all right so that's going to do it for this i hope this helps you uh, survive uh, here in um in green hell and uh if you got something out of the video if this was helpful um leave a like it's definitely appreciated if you've got a, a comment or a tip or a question please do uh, comment below i do read them all and i'll do my best to respond Thanks again. Mm -hmm.